So today what we'll be doing is we'll be creating uh, a text to smiley um, converter using PHP and um, before we get started uh, you need to have uh, an image that uh, has all your smiley and um, and uh, this is what mine looks like uh, this is it zoomed in a lot because they're only going to be small but um, uh, don't, uh, this will all be in the description with the source code so you don't need to worry about finding your own smileys and so uh, now we've done that let's just basically get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a form and the form action is going to be um, index.php and the method is going to be post because we'll be posting data to the script to a PHP script. So uh, the first thing we need is an input type of text. Um, the name doesn't really matter. It's uh, so we'll just call it whatever you want. Uh, and the value we're going to leave blank. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do input. Oops. Input type submit the name is um this in this case uh, it doesn't really matter but I'll do submit again and the value is uh, going to be convert okay so we're go if we go up here and we click refresh we have um, a form with a text box and a button that says convert and it does nothing at the minute so what we're going to do is we're going to create our PHP script and what it's going to say is um, we're going to create a variable called text box which equals post text box and we have to put the at sign in front of it in case we get errors and uh, basically this uh, text box uh, it just contain or this variable just contains the uh, data from the text box. So uh, whatever someone types in the text box. So what I'll do is um, I'll say echo text box, uh, and what this will do is whatever I type into the text box will get echoed above. So I just type in a random string of text and it gets echoed above. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get it so it changes this instead of echoing it above it's going to echo um, an image of a smiley face so to do this um, I'm going to say I'm going to create an if statement actually it's going to say if text box equals so uh, um, if the uh, text box if the string that comes from the text box is equal to this which is in this case the smiley face then we're going to use, um, we're going to create a variable called output. And up here we also need to uh, declare the variable output. <clears throat> uh, okay. So what we're going to say is it's going to equal the str replace function. And this takes three parameters. The first one is um, what you want it to replace. So in this case, uh, we want to replace the smiley face. The second one's what you want to replace it with, so I'll just say happy. And then the uh, last one is where you want to get it from, which in this case is text box. And then, um, down here all we have to type in is output. So we echo the output below the text box. So now if we type in the smiley face and we hit enter, it says happy. But if we type anything else, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so that's what we want. And what I'll do is I'll change this to a div. And the div style is going to equal a class called happy. And it's going to so that we can actually see it, it's going to have a space in it, just one space. So now um, we've done that, 
we're going to include this uh, style.css file. So what I'll do is type in link rel equals style sheet type equals text slash CSS and href which is the location equals uh, style.css because it's in the same directory as you can see up here and uh, so just in case you were wondering if the dot and the forward slash is the same as just putting that it's just a different way to do it so now we've done that we've included the class we actually need to create it so I'll say dot happy uh, background image URL and the background image URL is going to equal images forward slash smileys dot png and the reason it's smileys dot png is because in the images folder we have a png file called smileys and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say height 20 pixels width 20 pixels and background position and the, the width and height 20 pixels is because each smiley is about 20 pixels so um, we're just going to give this two parameters of zero because the happy smiley face is um, here this is the one we're going to use so we don't need to move the background at all it's just going to show us this one so let's try this um, now if we refresh the page and we type in the smiley face okay so something's gone a bit wrong so to fix this we go to view source and so the, the script is working because we have a div of style happy or the style set to happy and the CSS is working so what I'm going to do is just copy this and then make sure that this is going to the right file okay so uh, the problem was uh, instead of writing div style I should have written div class because um, the class is called dot happy and the uh, if I used style then I could just put CSS here not the actual name of the class so now that's fixed we're just gonna go back and refresh and then type it in again and we get the uh, smiley face so uh, what we're gonna do is we copy this and we'll say else and we'll just change this to uh, a different smiley face and we'll just call this one ecstatic So in here what we do is we copy the old happy style again and we change it to ecstatic. And I'm going to change this value to minus 20 to go 20 pixels to the right. So uh, let's refresh again and then type this one in this time and okay we get the wrong smiley face. So we got this one instead of this one. So uh, and one more thing for this to work in um, Firefox and Opera we need to write background attachment fixed and then when we do that then uh, um, we need to put it back down here so what this is probably going to do is it's going to move the images so when I refresh um, yeah we get a, a messed up image so uh, what I'm going to do is use trial and error to uh, fix this and I'm going to make sure the other one works so um, as you can see this is changing um, okay so what I'll do is I will say put this one to 10 and then this one to 10 and uh, we'll try it again so that looks more um, correct but it's still wrong because it's the wrong one because we were trying to get this one but or this one but instead we were getting this one 
So uh, I will come back when I have the correct numbers. Okay, so after messing about with the numbers for um, a good bit, uh, these are the numbers that work. Uh, for the happy one, we move it 8 pixels to the right and minus 10 pixels, which means um, sort of like 10 pixels up. But um, since the image is repeating, kind of, it's sort of hard to understand, but uh, when you mess about with the numbers, you'll realize. And the other one's just minus 12, minus 10. And I can prove these work uh, by typing in the first smiley face, and we get that one, the uh, original one. And then we type in the second one and get this one. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to waste um, 20 minutes of a video showing you every single smiley face because um, I've showed you the first two. So any more you wanted, all you'd have to do is do the same thing I just did, but just get it. So um, think of it like a, a square and you're trying to get the square to go over the specific image kind of part of uh, So the first square, uh, if someone types in um, this, then you want it to go to this square. You want the square to go over this image. And if they type in this, then uh, think of it like, whoops, um, a square that you want to go over this image. So you just, if you think of it like that and you can just move, uh, imagine moving a square and positioning it on top of each of these images, a 20 by 20 pixel square, because that's the size of the div, the height and the width of the div. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, comment, rate and subscribe, or comment, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.